also, you know, you and I together may hold a world record for the closest to ever having a series on television and not getting it. Oh, I, I oh. <laughs> it starts from the beginning. <laughs> so Jesse, oh. Je, Jesse already had a part, uh, or rather, excuse me, uh, the lead in a series about uh, an ex-wrestler who becomes a policeman and et cetera. And it was Disney and I maybe maybe NBC together. Uh, I'm not sure if it's NBC or who it was. But it was Disney. And so, you know, credit to, Je- to you, Jesse, because I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to be in part of the project. Uh, it was a great project, and I believed in it. And Jesse said, hey, uh, if you go, you know, and, and see them and, do the audition. I got no problem with that, which was very cool for those fans out there that don't know. Uh, normally, a wrestler would say, no, I wouldn't tell you anything or sabotage you, stuff your bagpipes with toilet paper like you Freddie Blaster did to me. Uh, but Jesse, not a problem. And then we had to go in, Jesse and myself, uh, to uh, this room where the executives were and kind of, you know, do a uh, an audition, for lack of a better word. And... Uh, uh, you know, we got great chemistry. And uh, when we get, bang, we get uh, not only a pilot, but they're going to pick it up. I can't remember if it was 13 episodes or six. But in any well, case, they, so they, what was they, it, six they, or 13? They picked us up for 13, and they even brought in the Magnum PI writing team. Remember that? They had the writers That's from right. Magnum PI. That's right. So. Now, they, decide, they decided to have a house in Venice, uh, in California, and, uh, that they were going to shoot exteriors uh, during the show. And so they said to me, hey, if you want to live in the house, we don't got no problem with that. That, that. that was very kind of them. So I moved into the house. And Jesse and I, uh, we went, so we went to the office, uh, in Disney, and we got our call sheets, and, you know, I, I kind of got to make it up, I don't know, 6.45 next morning, and, all right, everything's wonderful, tickety foo. here we go, we had shot the pilot, and I get back to the house, and I get a phone call from Jesse, you're not going to believe this, <laughs> what, we've been put on hold, we and hold the, the series, hold the plug series. And I don't know why uh, I had heard that Disney, that's why I'm not sure of the second entity. I think it was NBC, I, but I'm not positive. No, no, it was Disney and Coralco. Coralco. And I yep. think they had a three, three, uh, they like had a pending deal. No, they had a pending lawsuit where they were on opposite sides of a lawsuit and they were the two people that were promoting, uh, that were producing our show. We got caught in a lawsuit between two entities that had nothing to do with our show other than they were co-producing it, and then they're in legal battle over another thing, so they allowed the whole thing to go right down the toilet. Oh, jeez. We had a call sheet. Oh, yeah. And it, and, we're and it would have been... Away. It would have been a great show. Let me give the premise for the people that don't remember Tag Team. It was, it was a great premise. It was going to be like the A-Team. It was not going to be very serious. It was going to be a 7 o'clock or at night. The kids could watch. It was basically this. Two wrestlers get kicked out of wrestling, and they become cops. And it, it actually came from the idea from a 6-year-old boy. A 6-year-old boy, the writer who wrote the script, was sitting watching wrestling with his son, and he said, gee, Dad, wouldn't it be neat to see two wrestlers become cops? And that's how the whole thing started. That was the background on the whole thing. And I needed another wrestler. That's why I had no qualms about bringing Roddy in. Number one, Roddy did a great job in They Live acting, so I knew he could act. And number two, I needed someone in the ring with me that knew what the hell he was doing. And so it was a natural thing for us two to get together. And I'll tell you, Roddy, if they'd have flown with that, I believe our lives would have changed because I, to this day, believe Tag Team would have been a huge hit. Me too. Me too. I believe that uh, we would have opened up a lot of doors for a lot of other people, but for ourselves and our families, 
uh, because we had there was no egos, none at all. We all went in with our hearts. Uh, well, and the other and, and the other more. thing too, just like the pilot, you and I did all our own stunts, so they didn't even have to do hard cuts for stuntmen. Because when right. we jumped they off actually, of buildings, we did it ourselves. That's <laughs> right. They actually felt, and this is Hollywood. They felt so bad they got us a massage. Yeah, <laughs> they never right. did anything. Yeah, remember that? We did all our own stunts, so they gave us a massage at the end of the day. <laughs> I remember that now. Oh, God. It's, it's got, got to be the closest to having a series and not getting it in the history of Hollywood. I don't know well, how much closer you can get. Yeah, when they, and, and I, I'd heard they had already spent a million dollars. They had already spent a million dollars on the set and everything else, and they just let it flush right down the toilet, and the way you know, and that was the end of that. And there, there went our pilot, and there went history. I guess you know, you know, Roddy. If you think about it, had tag team went, I probably would have never been governor. You know, I, that's correct. If tag team had took off, your life and my life would have taken different, completely different directions. In my case, yeah. for much for the better. Um, uh, and in your case, I, I don't know, you know, being, a, having the, uh, having the, uh, the will and the intelligence and the ability to make yourself the governor of the state from, uh, with the background of, uh, pro wrestling and of course the service that you did for our country, you know, I, nobody else has ever done it before. So I don't well, know that if it, it would have changed your life for the better, but it would have mine anyway. And I was hanging no. out with like I said, Roddy, our, both our lives would have changed drastically because I highly doubt I would have ever gone into politics because, you know, that show happened in the 90s, the early 90s, so I wouldn't have been mayor and the chances of me ever going for governor probably if that pilot would have gone and we'd had a series, our lives would have been completely different. Oh, amazing. Man. Yeah, totally amazing. amazing stuff. You know, if they knew uh, folks are finding out right now, like, what goes on behind the scenes and how much we put into well, things and how quickly they take them. 